For centuries, Mistralia's inhabitants led happy, prosperous lives in the valley, ruled by mage kings. Individuals who exhibited the gift for spellcraft were raised by the royal family. Until the troll plague. Commoner, noble, none were spared. Not even the royal family. The crown was passed to a young, untrained mage. Aetius, first of his name. He dabbled in forbidden uses of the gift, which consumed him. The Mad King destroyed entire villages. He had to be stopped. Thus began the age of the Marquis, where magic is forbidden. But once every decade, a child still is born with the gift. All right, hey everyone, Wanderbots here, and welcome to Mages of Mistralia. It's a, I guess a, sort of isometric, um, action fantasy game, kind of Zelda, like old school Zelda style. I don't know. We haven't we haven't played it yet, so we can't say that. Well, I've seen enough of the combat. I mean, honestly, I guess it looks a little bit more like Bastion. I'm just thinking about I think the like the easiest way to describe it. The discrepancies between the different styles. Yeah. Like the 3D versus the 2D. Yeah. But we get to make spells. That's exciting. Okay, so she accidentally burned down her home. Maybe more than her home. There was a lot of screaming there, so that might have been she might have just she might have just eliminated the whole village. Oh, so they have like the weird uh, 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 kind of yeah, I guess, I guess so. So they know about your secret now. Who, who are you? Your mentor. I have nothing better to do than start you on your road to becoming a mage. Because if I don't, you'll no doubt burn down the entire valley, idiot girl. Wh what? Leave me alone. It was an accident. I. I know. Come. To go where? I don't want to be a mage. You think so? Well, you probably didn't want to stop having a home and an uncle either. But it happened. So you can be someone the Marquis will soon have imprisoned or killed for being a mage, or you can be a real mage and do some good in the valley. Come and heed me le and learn. Who are you? I told you, man. Uh, told you, mentor. Something wrong with your ears, girl. Who are you? Zia. Greetings, Zia. Time to start growing up. What? Life is not so easy, is it not? Uh, life is so easy, is it not? You have the gift. You are a mage, or rather, you will become a mage, or you will become uh, soon become dead. Choose. I, I don't want to die. So, you are a mage. Let us begin. But how? Come with me. You have much to learn. I feel like you're just going boom, 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 boom with all the dialogue. Yeah. 
I don't think cutscenes are going to be this game's strong suit. I think it's really focused on the gameplay, which is good. Nope, can't do anything. Oh, did he get older? He got older. About time. Mages can't sleep all day. So, spellcraft. Majory, then, if that word scares you less. If people cared less about words and more about deeds, the valley would be a better place. Come, you still want to be a mage? Oh, yes, but how? By trying and failing, and so learning spells. That was a spell. What spell? Ah, you seek to dazzle me with your brilliance already. I taught you the basics, but you need to learn spells. Try to do magic without knowing, and without a spell book, and cottages burn down, yes? Not good. Not good. So try, and fail, and so, learn. Go to Haven, where mages meet. There are others? Yes, there are others, like us. In Haven, you should receive your training. It is in deep forest and not easy to find, so follow the trail that leads deepest in. There I shall also be, and will teach you some beginnings. You... you mean I have to go to Haven alone? It's interesting, there's... Yeah, I feel like there's words missing. She says you mean I go to Haven alone instead of have to. Uh, it, it's weird. I'm just noticing like the little like... The differences uh, in writing. Like, you had actually messed up a sentence of his earlier where it was like, it ended in so. Yeah. As opposed to... It, it, it's interesting, because, so this game is written by Ed Greenwood, uh, the creator of the Forgotten Realms. So... Oh, okay. Uh, I mean... Fairly famous author, uh, author, could author just be another within, like, fantasy and stuff like that. of, like, fantasy yeah, I don't know if he's written all of the dialogue and stuff like that. It's just interesting, because I've read a ton of his books, and I don't remember his, um, his writing being like this. Mm -hmm. Ah, just odd tone. I don't know. Of course, you're the one who wants to be a mage. So, go. But, but isn't it dangerous out in the valley? Of course. But, but... Oh, don't worry, girl. If you meet some horrible monster, just burn them up. You managed a whole cottage, didn't you? Life is so easy, is it not? Uh, okay. Our mentor's a jerk. Okay, how do I how do I make spells? I can't. I literally can Maybe. do nothing to this thing. <laughs> uh, did you just drown? Uh, apparently so. So can drown. Uh... Good to know. So these lamp posts are probably checkpoints. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we'll learn as we go along. Let's see, there's nothing I can do with the with pretty much any of this. Well, that's okay. I really like the modeling and the texturing. It's got this like really nice like. Whoa! Well, we drowned once more. Ah, she can now swim. she can swim. Great. How am I going to reach Haven now? I feel like the mentor made the bridge suck on purpose. <laughs> So this game is out today already, and it's uh, 25 bucks. You can also get the soundtrack for like an extra two bucks, which is kind of neat. I may or may not have bought the soundtrack along with it. You did, didn't you? Yeah, why not? Mm -hmm. Oh, a tome. Two bucks for a soundtrack is not a bad uh, deal. Spell book? I wonder what it's doing here. Who are you? Did it just speak? Or was it only in my head? Well, perhaps you'll do. Fear not, young mage. I can get you back on your way. I'd better take it with me. I... <laughs> Spellbook. This spellbook appears to be communicating with me tel uh, yeah, telepathically. This, this is the girl speaking. I don't think Mentor's book does that. Fine, you can you can read item descriptions. Sorry. Because it wasn't the first person. If it. Here, let me show you how to use an amendi spell. A medi spell. A medi allows for instantaneous spells such as slashes and explosions. <gasps> 
Oh. Okay, so that takes down the gate. Oh, look at how the pot still have the little squiggles on it. Just like the Legend of Zelda ones. Yeah. Except they're blue. I'm gonna break everything. Turns out there's plenty of goodies. Uh-oh, battle situation? Ah, goblin. What are you doing to my glade? I'm gonna give you the biffy stick. Alternatively, ouch! <laughs> Goblins this bold. Which mage isn't guarding this part of the forests? Now, if the if there's only a child born every ten years with the mage gift, doesn't that mean like this girl could be ten or twenty at um, most, and then there has to be a thirty year old, a forty year old I mean I bet there's more than a that. A fifty year old, a sixty year old. There's probably a lot more than that. Here, you'll need a new trick. I will teach you how to cast an ego spell. Uh, let's see, so shields and fast movement. Boop. So we have shields. Oh, I see. You're gonna have to shield yourself from the gust. Well, I wanted to go down first anyway. Ew, is that a corpse? Yeah, it looks like a corpse in there. Is it? It looks like a skeleton, like, sort of crouched. Or what is that? It must be inside the building. Yeah, I see an arm. It's very hard to tell what's going on with it. It looks like a skeleton. Yep. Oh, that's okay. And there's some more barrels. I absolutely adore- Down there? Oh, oh, right here. I see it. It's... I absolutely adore this, like, uh, this visual style. Mm -hmm. Uh, you didn't play it with me, but Story's Path of Destinies had a very similar visual style, mm. and- uh, I really, really dig it. It's kind of like, um, I guess it makes me think of, like, if you took N64's kind of, like, ideas, but actually had a, uh, uh -oh. an engine that More could goblins. actively deal with it. Yeah, that's a good use of the shield. Yeah, so you do have an energy bar over there that we have to worry about. So I can't just, uh, sit and let everything hit me forever. I think... Mm -hmm. Not that it matters, it comes back pretty quick. Oh, I hear woodpecker. <laughs> I feel you have a natural affinity with the next one, yes. I call it an actus spell. Is it fire? Yes. Well, it's for spells with conditional duration, such as mines and projectiles. Okay. Okay, so you... I think oh, you're I supposed see. to light it. This is clever. I like that. You leave the fire sitting there and then you... Mm -hmm. Then you move it back in. I, li I like that. I like the fact that this Whoa, game is wait, trying to do puzzles window? and stuff. Is it another skeleton? Yeah, same one. But it's different, though. Well, it's not... It's the same... It's the same model, it's just on barrels this time instead of a table. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. Very. Birdie. Uh, does the birdie fly away? Nah, it's just sort of sitting nope. there. Okay. Bobbing around. Oh, goblin. <laughs> Burned itself to death. I feel like I should do, like, mostly a hit and run build mm -hmm. for this game. Just. Be an absolute cheese monster. You only have one spell left to learn. Here's a Creo spell. Last for spells with a durable effect, such as ice bridges and firewalls. Okay. Whoop. Goblins came up out of the water. Fortunately, I ran out of juice. And there was no more juice. That's okay. Boop. Boop. <laughs> oh, missed that one. Boop. 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 Okay. Well, that guy's not gonna come. Yeah, that's okay. Alright. He doesn't need to. And here we go. What's this strange sign on the ground? It looks like a teleportation glyph, but I don't know where it leads. Boop. Traveling to Haven. Oh. When the royal family and other mages were banned from Australia, some of them remained and built a secret hideout. The only path leading in its ma uh, 
leading in is magically hidden. So an unwitting traveler could blunder through the place and not know where the, uh, know they were near a settlement. Okay. Ooh, pretty. That looks like a health fountain of some sort. See how it's like a heart? Uh, which one? It's a, it's in the lower left. Okay, I was looking was. at the other fountain. You certainly took your time getting here. I found the river near your house. Mentor, I found a strange spell. Oh, no. What's this? You already have a spell book. Show it to me. Huh? You already have spells in there too. Well, you certainly skipped a lesson or two. Welcome to Haven, Zia. We mages meet here when needed. And this is the Enchanter. Uh, hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yes, I am the one who takes care of this place. Normally, he's also the one who provides the spell books, but it seems like you're beyond that now. You are ready to go out into the world and start becoming a proper mage. We learn by doing. First, you're going to Mistral Woods. Evil has started to take hold there, oh, root there. What can I do? You do what mages do. Find the source of the corruption and get rid of it. Is that really what mages do? Mages keep the valley safe from wayward magic. This was our role during the time of the Mage Kings, and it still is. Now it is your role too. A tip before you go. You see this lamppost here? We mages can use it to record our memories to preserve our progress. Use it as you travel. This is what allowed mages to prevail for so long. Thank you, Enchanter. Also, don't step on my flowers. <laughs> Follow the road south to reach Mistral Woods. Good luck, if you believe in such a thing. He's like a snake or a slug man? Lizard, maybe. But he doesn't have any legs. People keep stepping on my garden and trampling my poor flowers. That's why I'm going to ask you to get me some new bulbs. You see that blue flower? flower? That's a magic lily. Plant four magic lily bulbs to complete my garden. You'll find one in the Mistral Woods, one in the Rise, and one in the Highlands. I don't know where the last one is. I'll try to find them. Great. You can imbue some magic lilies from my garden with soul beads to create mana charms, which allow you to regain your mana in no time. Aren't you going to read him in the older S man voice? Sorry. I, I, I'm losing it because there's so much. The more magic lilies you plant, the more mana charms you'll be able to make simultaneously. There we go. You were sort of mixing. Yeah, the, I was starting to get into it. All three of the voices together. It was together. just so much, but yeah, no, he's he's like a. I well, I realized partway through that he was starting to sound kind of Palpatine, and I was like, <laughs> I sh shoot, I gotta stop. That's or okay. I'm just gonna go full Pal Palpatine. Let's let's do that. A man Empire did crafted. nothing wrong. <laughs> Out of a magic lily and soul beads, I can use it to regain mana. Do it. Burn the Jedi. <laughs> I gotta practice my um <laughs> Whoa, like, that treasure chest is moving. So it is. It has green soul beads times five. These stones are very common in Australia. They were used as magic reagents during the time of the Mage Kings, but its use prevailed as currency. Oh, so that's what we've been picking up. Oh hey, there's a young boy or woman? Yep. Woman, probably. It's, a it's an older lady. Hello, Zia Wright. I'm Sinna. Welcome to Haven. You can come here to relax, meet other mages, and eat. There's also the trial of the mages to test your skills, but you're not ready for that yet. Well, bye. I wish there was like a speed buff. We need a speed buff. I wanna go fast. <laughs> Fortunately, I don't know how and when. This is probably a waypoint. Mentor told me about a yearly gathering of mages. Maybe this is where it takes place? Hmm, this stone can be- this stone used to be in Mistralia Castle. Can you do him more whispery? You Ma sound a lot like okay. a mentor. Yeah, sorry. Mages would gather around it to decide where they should put their reinforcements next. This is intriguing. Better? Sure. It was efforts, though, not reinforcements. Oh. <laughs> I know, so I don't you, know. you've been switching words around right and left. Yeah, maybe I'm tired. Maybe Aww. it's something. The plate says, Debrucid. 
Legendary hero. And quite mad. Let's see. I love the I love the modeling work. Mm -hmm. It says, "The Hall of Trials. Test your skills as a mage for a chance to win amazing prizes." It's closed. Okay. Off well, we go. Well, Shitsuna said you weren't ready for it yet. Oh yeah, we have to learn spellcrafting first, probably. Now it was south. Yeah. But first, <laughs> smash more pots. <laughs> Somebody keeps money in them. Wait, did that one flower disappear, or is it because you're not close enough to it? Probably not close enough to it. Yeah, oh, see, yeah. That's a health. This is the health. Drop four purple, and your life shall increase. Huh. But we don't have any. Not now. That's very, uh... Hey, is this for spell? Yeah, so magic shall increase. So that's sort of like your... Breath it's of the actually, Wild. Yeah, yeah. It's that kind of system. Is this a... Did you hear that voice? It was yeah. so high. Oh, you're new. I'm Emma, a mage just like you. I guess you're wondering how to get out. Yes. Haven is protected by a magic seal. You need to dispel it before you go in and out. Why don't you try to unseal it? Okay. Speak mage and enter. Oh. Do you need to know the language or just have it all connect? Yeah. Speak mage and enter? That's it's like speak friend and enter. Funny. From uh Lord of the Rings. That's Yeah. I didn't immediately get gather that. But yeah, it totally makes sense. I actually uh Great job. I knew you could do it. There's a, oh, it's her hair behind her face. I kept seeing she had like a mustache or something. I was really confused. <laughs> Ancient mages used to hide their belongings in sealed caches. If you're lucky, you'll find other seals in remote places of the valley. Yeah, so actually, we've got like secret caches. Cool. When my parents like to drive around neighborhoods just to see what other houses are like. And uh, there's this one neighborhood where... They must have had some kind of wooden play shack in the backyard. And the whole door was painted with the entrance to the Mines of Moria. Oh, that's cool. I know. I think I've seen somebody do that before. Maybe you were with us in the car? Mm, no. no. I think it was on the internet that I saw it. Uh, it's that's a, a person. guy, I think. Young lady, can you tell me where we are? I'm not sure. Oh, well, my map says we're here. I'll just follow the road. I hate having to take a detour. Remember, you can access your map to see how to reach other areas. Ooh! How, how, how do map... Oh, map. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we want to go... So we have the forest. We have a cavern. Old mines, Greyleaf Hamlet. Got a lot of places to go to. Ooh, so there's a magma level. Yeah. Oh, this is how we open up the map faster. Well, that's neat. So, oh. where's the castle castle? The one on the right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Tomb, Tomb of, of the, the Mage, Mage Kings. Kings. So, probably used to be the, uh, the current castle. The Dark Tower. Yeah. Lava Grotto, Dark Tower, Sky Temple. This really does make me think of Legend of Zelda. There's probably a number of places to go. Okay. Oh, and there's a lady, too. Traveling Merchant George and Anna. We just finished selling our stuff in Greyleaf Hamlet. Did you know there was a fire there a few weeks ago? Uh-oh. That was her, then. We're going to the rise, but the way ahead is blocked. We'll have to go through Mistral Woods. I do I could buy stuff from him. Instead, on we go. Okay, so can I actually, um... Make spells? No, it doesn't look like I can do anything yet. You probably have to access more points. Yeah, there's probably going to be a tutorial teaching us. Traveling to Mistral Woods. Long ago, the villagers of Greyleaf used to transport goods through the woods, but they had to stop and the Marquis pulled back his patrolling guards. The goblins have since taken over, and travelers on the main road always feel watched. Oh, there's a ton of goblins. And what's that? Did they burn someone's shelter down? Yeah, there's or? a dude they're menacing. They burnt his wagon. Uh-oh. To the rescue! 
rescue-ish. First, we must murder. And uh, oops, yeah, wrong one. <laughs> what? There we go. Uh, because I lit the fire, you it get... dropped coins for us. There's nice. like mini puzzles all over the place. Uh, torch yeah. is not burnable. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you'd noticed the rock earlier, but there was a rock that we could move. Was that a woman? Yelling? Yeah, that's a woman. Help! I think. Yep. Can you put ice behind you to see if they slip around? Ooh, good point. That or they just stuck on it. Is that a <laughs> jackalope? Uh, maybe? I was Ow. off to the left. I was not paying full attention. Follow I can go check it out. The I'm, jackalope! I'm gonna very quickly turn down sound effects. Oh. Uh, it's- it gets really loud when I'm hitting things. I'm- Okay, I'm- Sound effects volume. Trying to turn it down. Okay, there we go. Okay, off to the left. Find the jackalope. <gasps> is it? Is it? I don't know. Oh no! Ah! What ah! are you doing? Ah! It grew horns and it's menacing you! Ah! Ah! <laughs> what? Got it. It's dead. I killed the horror. But, but what? It didn't get you anything. Nope. Turns out trying to kill helpless forest creatures makes them turn evil and murderous. <laughs> Are you okay, Rachel? Zia, you... you saved me? Goodbye. I guess you're not so bad after all. Aww. What are you doing in the woods? You know it's dangerous. Mm. With the way to the castle blocked, I was trying to find another way to get there and sell my wares. But my cart broke down and I was attacked by goblins. Mm -hmm. It only gets more dangerous from here. I'll gather my things and return to Greyleaf for now. Can you let my husband Vetus know that I'm here? I'm sure we'll need his help with the cart. Or she's saying I sure will need his help with the cart, probably. Go ahead, don't wait for me. I'll be done in no time. Ma'am, your cart's on fire? I think... Now don't attack them. Do you think you can drop down and explore the river? Yeah. This just seems like such a perfect secret location. And there's nothing. And you have no mana. Okay, good. Just got us go slow. Oh, See, I bet that's a... Yeah, the going down there will probably get you. Yeah. Somewhere where you... Oh, there there's the help we need. Things. Yeah, this is, this is probably where we're actually supposed to cross. I like this, that it's not just like a fully linear thing. Ooh, what's that pool? I don't know. Oh, it's just a thing? Care for a hint? You might not possess the necessary runes for this challenge. See new hint for 50? No. Oh, not right now. Come again. It actually made a feminine voice. Did you hear that? Yeah, kinda. So we gotta figure out how to light the fire up above. Cause I can light that one, but I can't light the other one. Oh, okay. you have to do the whole um oh. charge thing. But there's also a timer on it. If you notice, I have to light that one. The upper one and this one over here. You have to have your flames bounce through the air. Yeah, you haven't acquired the skill for oh, that yeah. yet. Not even close. I should probably just do linear stuff until we actually unlock some, um... Oh, no. It's okay. Remember, don't hit Watch the jackalopes. This. Trapper builds. Wins the day. <laughs> And the nice part is, once I get up to the rangers, I can just stun lock them. Okay, so we want to avoid hitting the jackalope if, if at all possible. Okay. okay, good. I think we're good. I think I heard another goblin, but I could be wrong. Now, was there anything oh, up the wrong. hill? Uh, yeah, very potentially. I'm just not sure if we can get there. Well, just up uh, that. Yep. Oh, more barrels. Might as well bust them down. I wonder if we, like, buy runes or something and. And that's how we, uh, 
mm. expand. I don't know. I'm curious. Ah. Oh. Um. Oh, you just need to rearrange them. Um, so... Is it- you have to get everything to glow? Is that what's gonna be? Yeah, I have to connect them all. That one needs two prongs. See? Yeah. Uh. Yeah, you should switch that one and that one. There we go. Okay. That works. That was neat. And a treasure chest. Woo! Which gives us a purple soul bead. Purple soul beads are quite uncommon and much more potent as magic reagents. But common Mistralians regard it as defective, considering them to have no modern, uh, monetary value. So that's the one that you can use uh, to, to... up our health or yeah. magic. And I think I'm going to err on the crazy side and just pump all into magic <laughs> until it becomes like a legitimate problem. Mm-hmm. Oh, hello. Well, cause... I did hear another one of these guys hiding around here. Yeah, because if you have enough magic, you probably won't find yourself losing much health. Yeah, that's my hope. Okay, so can I get past the wagon? No. Nah, it doesn't look like it. I can't put out the fires. There was this up here. Fire? No. Oh, uh, okay. We need, we need something greater for that. An explosion. Oh, that's what I think it is. Yeah. So we probably have to mix fire and lightning together to get that one. Mm-hmm. Well, that's okay. So Let's... you have fire, lightning, ice, and what was the last one? Fire, lightning, ice, and shield. shield so it's like earth. Which is earth, yeah. I see. I think there's a healing spell that you can make. I think there's a, like a number of things. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I really dig this. This is this is really pretty. And I'm glad you get to voice act. <laughs> I don't know. It's like the main reason why you do any of the Let's Plays with me. It's like, can I do voice acting? Well, if it has a compelling enough story and there isn't voice acting, I might be able... Well, like there is already voice acting I could tag along. It just depends. Yeah. It just gives us more to do. So traveling to Greyleaf Hamlet. Isn't this where... Where Nia, Nia is from? Maybe. With the Mistral Woods controlled by goblins and the main road to Mistralia blocked by a recent rock slide, this bucolic mountaintop, Hamlet's inhabitants feel more isolated than ever. Oh, Zia, not Nia. Yeah. When Zia accidentally burned down her house, they were quick to take matters into their own hands and exile her. And now she's coming back. Hello, I'm here to burn down the rest of the town. And there's a save point? Yeah. Okay. But I think before we go too much further, this is actually a really good stopping point. Mm -hmm. uh, not much has happened, and we've still got a lot of features left in the game to unlock, but, you know, half an hour is usually a good s stopping point anyway. So even as far as, like, the basics go, this seems really fun, but we haven't even gotten into the meat of it. Eventually, we're going to be able to mix spells together. Maybe not Magicka style. It'll be slightly different, but we'll be able to do, like, crazy wizard magic. Which I'm really looking forward to. And I wonder if their placement in that weird diagram also affects it what does. they do. It does. It okay. absolutely does. Uh, the uh, if you notice, each one of them has different connection points. Like, uh, yeah. So you can do some like really interesting spell combinations from what I've seen. Unfortunately, it will be quite a while, probably, before we get to use them, and that's okay too. I would oh. expect like in each area you learn maybe four new things, hopefully, or maybe one at the very least. Yeah. Ooh, it looks like you get more wands and items. Yeah, and mana charms and some other things. Uh, but yeah, like I said, the game is 25 bucks. I think it's on sale for a little bit less right now. And I'd say it's probably worth it if you're looking for, you know, kind of a, a Zelda, an old school Zelda-like, or just like a really charming game. Uh, I've heard it's a little bit on the short side, but uh, well worth the money regardless. Which, I don't know. I guess I'm always fixated on price points versus, like, quality and... Well, I mean, people spend, as I, as we've discussed before, people spend anywhere between 5 and $10 to watch a movie that's only two hours long. If something can provide you with a little bit more... Yeah. I feel like I'm doing a sales pitch, though. I guess I am. 
Um, <laughs> but I don't know. Either way, I'm enjoying this enough that uh, I'm definitely aiming for a full playthrough. I'm just looking forward to where the plot goes with the mages, <laughs> the different regions, and whether or Shell not- wants like, plot, she... I want magic destruction. Well, <laughs> the, the plot can be reinforced with the, the learning of the magic and the lore and whatnot, but you know. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I like the fact that each one of these, like, ice things it's is different. actually completely different. Yeah. Uh, that they didn't just use, uh, repetition for it. Mm -hmm. That's, that's really cool. They probably have, like, ten different tiles that they just alternate between. Yeah, either way, though, I guess if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave us a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, uh, hit subscribe, because we're going to be doing a full run of this game. It looks amazing, and I can't wait to play more. So I guess with that, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.